Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Dell Technologies World 2019. Brought to you by Dell Technologies and its ecosystem partners. Hi, Lisa Martin with theCUBE, live day three of theCUBE's double set coverage of Dell Technologies World 2019. I'm with Stu Miniman and we've got one alumni back. We've got Gil Schnorrenson, Senior Vice President and General Manager of VxRail. Gil, welcome back. Thank you, nice to be back. And it's show and tell. You brought Niv Ross, the CTO of Harrell Insurance, one of your successful customers. Niv, it's great to have you on the program. Thank you, great to be here. So, Niv, let's start with you. Give our audience an understanding of Harrell Insurance, where you're located, what it is that you do, and then we'll get into why you think Dell EMC is so fantastic. Harrell Insurance is an insurance company uh, doing a life, non-life insurances. Very, very wide portfolio of business products in the insurance and investments in Israel. More than 5,000 employees and uh, 3 million uh, customers. Um, managing around 240 billion shekels in 2018, so it's a very innovative company to walk in. Well, so, so, so Nev, interesting, uh, Dell has a podcast, and I'm just giving a little plug here, because at the gym this morning, the latest episode by Walter Isaacson talks about transformation going on in the insurance business. You know, some people think, oh, insurance has been around a long time, I mean, heck, back to the Roman era, uh, when they had, uh, you know, some of this, but today, insurance is changing fast. Can you just at a macro level give us, you know, what are some of the, the changes and stresses on the company, and how's that impact your job. You know, it's funny you mentioning that. In 2015, our CEO has declared an innovative program named Recalculating Routes. The, the purpose of the, pre, the, uh, the strategic plan was to take a rail from traditional insurance company to more, to more digital transform, data transform. Um, we as a rail has a brokers, the brokers are our salespersons, but once you, the customer entered the, the sales part, the onboarding part, he wanted a very uh, um, more, more uh, uh, innovative uh, uh, service. After that, the post-service part is very, uh, very hard in insurance, and we uh, for, uh, investing a lot uh, to make the uh, in the post-service feel uh, customer experience very, very advanced. We talk a lot about customer insurance at every, uh, sorry, customer insurance. Well, that's important too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> customer experience was the word I was going for. Um, it's, it's essential, right? Because in 2019, customers of any type of product or service have so much choice. Yeah. So talk to us, Niv, from that, looking through that lens of delivering an outstanding customer experience. Obviously, your sales folks need to have innovative technology to deliver that outstanding customer yeah. experience. But when a company says, we're, we've got to transform digitally, we've got to stay ahead of the market and delight our customers. Where do you start? Talk to us about maybe a phased approach that you're taking to digital transformation. Digital transformation is all about how customer experience uh, look, feel like in your environment. So if, if a person entering your website and trying to do some post service, and you're gonna get, uh, running into some uh, old fashionable uh, uh, process that is very hard to him, and he is, it's really fascinating you know, to do that. So, and, and actually, if I look about what our approach about it, we're thinking about the digital transformation, we're thinking about how to take the onboarding part of the, for our brokers, the post service for our customers, to make the process, the, the services we are offering to our customers easy as possible to just consume it. All right, so Gil, let's, let's bring you into the discussion here. You know, I think back, converged infrastructure, hyper-converged infrastructure, you've been riding the rocket ship that is VxRail. You know, digital transformation wasn't the, the leading use uh, for that when we started. It was simplification, you know, driving that wave of virtualization. Uh, it, you know, we've heard VxRail everywhere in the discussion this week. Uh, you know, it was like, oh, all of these different cloud pieces, what's underneath them? VxRail. Help us connect the dots, the, the transformations that your customers are going, you know, where VxRail and the new solutions built with VxRail help, help enable your customers. Yeah, thanks to, I, uh, you know, um, we talk about a digital transformation a lot. Reality is that many of the customers um, not all of them are, are transformative like Harrell Insurance, right? Many of them look at um, HCI and VxRail as their next simple tech refresh. They see the agility, they see the economical benefit, um, but there is a growing majority of customers who look at this as transformational. 
And so that's where you see HCI and VxRail specifically, in our case, starting to grow beyond being an infrastructure for workloads to be an infrastructure for their hybrid cloud and multi-cloud environment. So what's so exciting about this show is because we've been, you know, we've been very successful and we were growing very, very fast, um, but by putting this building block in many of our customers' data centers, they've made the choice that will enable them to now um, embark on a more transformational strategy. And I think we demonstrated um, in the last two days that hybrid cloud is here and it's sellable, operational, it's, it's, um, and with VxRail, and the integration with VMware Cloud Foundation and the ability to add and burst into a cloud, move workloads, it's here and it's now. I think that's what's nice about this whole thing. All right, so, so Gil, it's great for you to say it, even as an analyst, as media organization, for us to say it, but what we love is you brought a customer here to tell us the reality as to you know, where cloud fits into your overall discussion. You know, we'd love you your feedback as to what Gil's saying, what's the reality in, in your world and the impact on your org. I will connect the previous question, this one, because it's like, um, it's, it's, it's very running on questions about it. So, you know, you as the customers, um, your expectation about the company is to do every, all, every operation from everywhere, a, a very easy way, and you know, the mobility and the digital transformation itself, all the mobile applications, all the things that's taking the, the customer experience to the next level, it really took the organization to uh, a phase that I need to understand how to scalable the systems. So in, in this journey, when you're looking about digital transformation, you must have an infrastructure that supports the scalability, the elasticity, the availability that a customer de demands. You don't, you don't think to yourself that you are entering some e-commerce or big e-commerce customer and it says, and they will say to you on the application, sorry sir, uh, we currently offline do management reasons or, or or maintenance reasons, that's that's thing that in 2018 you will not uh, think about and, it, and it's not be acceptable. Um, so to do a scalable, scalability, um, our multi-cloud strategy in, in Arel is to have an infrastructure-free environment, to focus on the service applications and not to focus on the infrastructure management part. That's the big concerns of our IT teams was how to, uh, um, to all, all day to, to care about support and matrices and compatibility and maintenance. And when you go into the private cloud environment, the private cloud environment, that's that VxRail on, on the bottoms and the Vimo Cloud Foundation on the top, allow the rail is to start the journey to a phase that said, okay, we're going to an infrastructure free roadmap. Tell us about the outcomes that, for example, we go back to what we were talking about, your brokers who need to be able to deliver any service. I imagine they're out in the field sometimes with customers depending on the types of services that they need to deliver. What has been some of the feedback or maybe the outcomes for the brokers? Are they able to do their jobs faster, deliver quotes faster to customers? What are some of the exciting outcomes that you're seeing as a result of the infrastructure that Dell EMC is helping you to establish? You know, um, part of the digital transformation, we're talking about uh, microservicing a lot of uh, uh, old virtual machines, I'm saying that. So service applications on the past was virtual machine, now you're microservices. Why are you microservicing it? Because in 8 a.m., perhaps there is 20 person that's selling your policies, but perhaps on the 11, after some uh, TV show we said about something about the rail, you can have uh, thousands of uh, uh, customers entering to your website. So how you can support that? So again, brokers you know, uh, need, need the, the tools to support uh, the, the operation, the sales operations, and the customers need the tools to support the post service for themselves, how to, how to claim, how to do claims, how to do more preventive, uh, uh, um, aspects of insurances. So basically, again, when you're looking about what exciting is, is, is the reality that I'm seeing a process of, uh, of, uh, of a customer and he's saying, wow, that was easy. So we're taking the digital transformation to make our customer experience better. All right. Gil, help us zoom out a little bit. We talked to one customer here, but the business overall, you know, joint product uh, development between uh, uh, Dell EMC and the VMware uh, teams is, is was something that we think was transformational uh, and helped uh, accelerate the HCI growth. What are some of the big drivers, you know, what, what's changed in the business, and you know, yeah, give us the overall update. Yeah, look, I, I think that um, when, when we discovered that working together pays off, 
um, through our joint leadership and through examples like VxRail and others, um, we started looking at every part of the business and how collaboration could enable us to add even more value. And, and you know, value transfers into finances and there's, there's a very strong interest and so um, this recent innovation we've introduced with integration with Cloud Foundation, um, people don't realize how much work goes into integrating two products. Regardless, even, even between one company, you're talking about engineers co-location, you're talking about joint sprints, you're talking about test fests, um, design workshop, customers interaction, and so, but, but you know what I mean, it pays off. Um, you, you, um, you deliver a new outcome that didn't exist before. Now with VCF on VxRail, you can have a full lifecycle management of the entire VMware stack and the entire hardware stack, drivers, firmware, and everything lifecycled together. Um, that's a very, very impressive outcome and it's ready now. Um, and, I, I, and I'm really thinking that shift is going to be more than just HCI people are going to start embracing the full stack because they can, because we're simplifying it. Um, in addition to that, Stu, I, I think um, it's important to understand, or, or I would like the people to know, that the other way we're taking the HCI stack and the full stack is into much more intelligence, so machine learning and predictability, um, all the way eventually to um, remediation. And so in this show we introduced the um, analytical consulting engine uh, for VxRail, and we put it out there as a, as a field try, as an early access. The thought process is we have a very large amount of intelligent customers that could tell us where they need this to take. And what's exciting about it is that every product these days is trying to be intelligent. Because we have a full stack, we have a lot of context, a lot of things we could correlate. So we're very excited about this and we're hoping that our customers will participate in that design. Um, I'm sure RL will as soon as we can give it to them, you know, the access. And um, you know, not, not only full stack, but making much more intelligent. I think, um, I think it's going to be a very exciting year um, until next time we speak. Yeah, Harrell, you have a history. Yeah, a, a, sorry a, a, to dare say yeah. about it. You know, um, customers, we, we uh, customers, us as an organization, understand that public cloud allowed us to be infrastructure free. And now they said, okay, some workloads are good for, for public cloud, and some workloads are good for private cloud. And the multi cloud approach, that VMware Cloud Foundation gives us the infrastructure free to just focus on the services. You need to understand the manageability of, of traditional infrastructure is, a, is, is a very cost effective, is very costed. Um, why? You need to manage, you need to support it, you need to upgrade the framers, the, the buyers, the drivers, and you need to, uh, every, uh, all the time to be concerned about what, if everything is supportable. How you do that all the, all the job, and again, once, you, once you're taking the, the, the VxRail as a hardware platform for that, and the VMO Cloud Foundation, the software, you could, you're getting a complete life cycle that assists you to just focusing about, about to be a service broker, just uh, um, add, add new services to the existing environment. Well, Niv, thank you so much for stopping by theCUBE and sharing with Stu and me where you guys are on this digital transformation journey, the successes you've achieved so far with Dell EMC. Gail, again, always great to have you on the program and we can't wait to hear more next year. Maybe Ace is going to give us some really insightful uh, insights that will be groundbreaking. I believe so. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank for you. Stu Miniman, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching us on theCUBE live from day three of our coverage of Dell Technologies World. Thanks for watching. Oh.